What up YouTube, this is Collector's Dream. Hope you're enjoying your day, your evening, your night, or your morning, whenever you're watching this video. And just in general, hope you're enjoying yourself. Um, so this video is gonna be different to my other videos. But then again, all of my videos are pretty different to each other. Um, so in, the, in this video, I wanna talk about um, the fact that I've, in a lot of forums and other YouTube video collections, I've noticed a lot of people asking, what's a good step to, um, or what's a good way to begin um, building a collection like where should you begin and that's a good question that people are generally ask and now I know I haven't got the greatest figure collection in the world I mean if you're talking about your predator terms I probably have um, under 20 figures and this is probably would be probably half of my figures that you see and um, there's different collections out there um, a lot of people collect busts and masks and larger scale like one for one one for two scale figures um, or some people collect smaller scales, others collect just statues, so they don't like figures. What a lot of different things. So that so I don't collect busts that often. I only have I think three in my whole collection. One it one being Van Halen and two being uh, Wolverine. Um, so getting off topic right now. Anyway, so let's get back into the video. So in, in not including the busts, we have um, little figurines. Figurines are usually referred to very small. Um, type of figures or statues, if you want to call. So these ones, are you looking at about what two, three inches at most, and um, they can be collectible. So these guys are made by Kurabuki Company. Um, they're from 2004, so they're from the Predator film, Predator 2. I think they were from yeah, Predator 2. Um, yeah, so they're oh, they're pretty cool. They they have a bit of detail in them. You see, this guy's got his fluorescent blood and his hand cut off. Oh, where's my camera? And he's got his little cry. But then again, they are because they are so small. You can. Oh, this guy's got his trophy and his battle cry. So this, I think this is when he, I think this trophy is from when he, um, if I'm correct, from when he killed the um, the drug dealer in the city. Anyways, so they can be collectible. The little figurines. Now, then we move on to what a lot of people collect. Uh -huh. McFarlane or what we call action toys or figure or figures. These um actually this this one's pretty cool. I put him in this position kinda like why are you doing this video? I still don't want to be in it kinda uh -huh, cause he's blocked yeah, any anyway, regardless. Going back to the topic. Um they are relatively cheap to buy and they are mass produced and they have a lot of different variations towards them. And um I do like some of them. I don't like a lot of them. I know Naka does a lot of these kind of figures, and they're pretty cool. Some are pretty cool, but um, because they're produced every every year or every whatever, how many how many months it goes by, the different ser the new series comes out. They kind of like start being more creative, and sometimes their creativity kind of kills the character. I mean, I've seen some of them where they play to be Egyptian's god, and they have these gold. Um, armor and they kind of like almost resemble Egyptian gods and I think they just look ridiculous but that's my personal opinion so don't hate for me for that so that's the reason why I don't usually collect them I don't like I said I don't usually even collect any figures but these two are from the AVP and I do have the whole AVP line of McFarlane's which can be seen in my other videos and, and but we're moving away from them and now we go into what a lot of collectors do like and that's dioramas and statues and these things are more expensive um, because they're much more better, much, much um, more better built, I guess, or or much more effort is put into constructing. Um, they're more detailed, as, as you can see. Look, if looking at the face, and um, and they're uh, made in a less number. Some of them are limited edition, so it'll be like one of five, five thousand, two thousand, whatever it is. But um, it's just the quality of them. They have much be much better paint job on them. And just overall likeness to the actual um, character or actor or whatever you are collecting is um, greater greater detail put towards it. Um, and then last but not least, we have what um, is high-end collectible figures. So... I guess the main difference between figures and statues is that statues come in one position most of the time. They don't have many accessories. They might have a removable hand or a removable head. Whereas figures, they have points of articulation where you can move them around, put them in different poses. 
and that will have a lot of accessories and would have either um, movable hands or heads or so in, in most cases that have removable masks unfortunately this one doesn't but that's not the reason why I purchased him um, but the so these guys are more expensive as well because these guys are made for collectors rather than um, enthusiasts or hobbies or children as the other ones are done designed for as well so yeah so these guys are made kind of like well for collectors and yeah investors so um, there you have it.